In this video, I will show you another example of super node analysis. Using the concept of super node, calculate the node voltages of the following circuit. See, when we have to apply super node analysis in a circuit, at first we will identify the number of nodes here. See, this will indicate a node. This will indicate another node. This will indicate another node and this terminal will indicate another node usually during node or soap node analysis we take this terminal as our reference node or this terminal as ground terminal therefore this node will have a voltage of v not equal to zero volt this is our reference node and the reference node has a voltage of v not equal to zero volt okay now see with respect to this reference voltage this node will have a voltage of let's say v1 this node will have a voltage of v2 this node will have a voltage of v3 okay now look between node number one and reference node we will have this five volt voltage source this is an independent voltage source of five volt and between node number two and node number three we have this 12 volt independent voltage source so as the 5 volt is between non reference node and reference node it will not form super node rather node number 2 and node number 3 will form the super node because within the node number 2 and 3 we have this independent voltage source of 12 volt connected before going to the circuit analysis let me show you this see this is our positive terminal of 5 volt and this is our negative terminal which is connected at node number one and this is at reference terminal that means as this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal that means the reference node voltage is higher than the node number one voltage so i can write down like this reference node voltage minus node one voltage will be exactly equal to this voltage difference 5 volt from which I can write down our node voltage 1 V1 will be equal to minus 5 volt ok now look between node number 2 and node number 3 we have positive terminal of 12 volt connected at node number 3 and negative terminal at node number 2 that means node 3 voltage V3 will be greater than V2 and the voltage difference between node 3 and node 2 will be indicated by this voltage source value 12 volt so from here i can write down v3 minus v2 equal to 12 from which i can write down equation number 1 v3 equal to 12 plus v2 this is equation number one let's say after taking the voltage difference between this node and this node as node 2 and 3 will form the super node i will remove this independent voltage source and i will replace this with a short circuit now let me do that after removing the voltage source you will see we will have the node number 2 and node number 3 connected with a short circuit and node number 2 and node number 3 will form the super node let me highlight the super node area so the green shaded area will indicate the super node in this circuit after indicating the super node I will apply KCL at the super node. now see with the super node we don't have any current source connected that means all the currents will be unknown currents and all the unknown currents 
we assume during the nodal analysis or super node analysis will be outgoing so let's say the current outgoing in this direction is i1 the current that is outgoing in this direction is i2 the current outgoing in this direction is i3 and the current that is outgoing in this direction will be i4 now how do we calculate i1 see here we calculate the current in any branch using ohm's law here i1 is the current that is flowing from this node 2 towards this node 1 that means node 2 will be at higher potential and node 1 will be at lower potential so v2 minus v1 divided by 12 ohm so what will be i2 i2 is flowing from this node 2 towards this ground terminal and ground terminal has a voltage of zero so it will be v2 minus v0 by 4 but p naught has a value of 0 so i will not write it down so what will be i3 see this node will have a voltage of p3 and i3 is outgoing from that node so i3 should be equal to p3 minus 0 divided by 6 and what will be i4 see i4 is flowing from this node towards this node so this node has a voltage of p3 and this node has a voltage of v1 and this branch has a resistance of 24 so let me put the value of i1 i2 i3 and i4 when we apply kcl at the super node and as i1 i2 i3 i4 all are unknown currents so all of them will be outgoing from the super node I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 will be equal to 0. I1 has a value of V2 minus V1 divided by 12. I2 has a value of V2 divided by 4. I3 has a value of v3 divided by 6 i4 has a value of v3 minus v1 divided by 24 equal to 0 now see here the denominators are 12 4 6 and 24 i can take the lcm of all the four terms and that will be 24 so here i will get 12 into 2 2v2 minus 2v1 plus 4 into 6v2 6 6v2 6 plus 4v3 divided by 6 into 4 plus v3 minus v1 see v1 has a value of minus 5 so here i will get v3 plus 5 divided by 24 equal to 0 here we have minus 2 v1 minus v1 has a value of minus 5 i have shown you earlier v1 has a value of minus 5 so let me put the value of v1 and take the lcm i will get 24 2 v2 plus 10 plus 6 v2 plus 4 v3 plus v3 plus 5 that will be equal to 0 now see from here i can write down 8 v2 plus 5 v3 plus 15 equal to 0 which will give us a value of 8v2 plus 5v3 equal to minus 15 and from equation number 1 we know that v3 is equal to 12 plus v2 let me put that value here i will get 8v2 plus 60 plus 5v2 
equal to minus 15 that will be equal to 13 v 13 v 2 equal to minus 75 which will give us a value of v 2 equal to minus 5.77 volt now from equation number one we know that v3 will be equal to 12 plus v2 it will be equal to 12 plus minus 5.77 volt so this will give us a value of 6.2 volt and previously i have shown you v1 is equal to minus 5 volt so these are the results of this circuit so these are the node voltages v2 equal to minus 5.77 v3 is equal to 6.23 volt and v1 is equal to minus 5 volt 